period. Well, with school plans still being finalized across the state, transportation is in limbo for some districts. Parents of private and Catholic school students who depend on their public school districts for transportation are worried this pandemic will cause their kids to miss the bus. Arranging buses for students is a challenge in the best of times. During a pandemic? Obviously, uh, transportation is a, is a concern across the board for education. How do you practice social distancing and get people into a school bus? Many public schools have gone online only. They won't be busing their students, but what about private and Catholic school kids that rely on them? Now at this 23rd hour almost, we're being told that busing may be pulled, um, and we're very unhappy about it. Sue Delicio's son is in Catholic school. She says her public school went virtual and may park its buses. As a taxpayer, they really don't have the right to pull the buses from us. I mean, that's part of what we pay for in our taxes. You might have to file, um, you know, an injunction or some kind of legal remedy. Sean McAleer is with the PA Catholic Conference. He says 50 of PA's 500 districts have either refused or not yet committed to bus non-public students. If they're virtual, they're not providing transportation for their children. So there should free up enough um, you know, bus drivers and busing for to take non-public schools back and forth, you know, to school. House Majority Leader Kerry Benninghoff says not busing is not an option. His letter to the Wolf administration says the legislature fully funded schools so they should have money to bus. And those parents pay taxes too. The Catholic Conference is sure that the law is on their side. Everybody's, you know, aggravated right now. It's a new situation we're in. It's, it's, so, but I just wish they would come to their senses. Governor Wolf admits non-public busing is an issue. He also admits he doesn't yet have a final answer, but says the Department of Education is working on guidance.